In the last video, I showed you how to organize your ADD workspace to make it even more convenient while developing Android applications. And when we write some Android applications, we need a way to run and test our apps. If you have an Android device, you can use your Android device for debugging. However, uh, there are a lot of devices out there with different screen sizes and resolutions. So Android provides a concept called as the Android Virtual Device, which allows you to create virtual devices that emulate the appearance and behavior of real world devices. We are going to create a new Android Virtual Device for us, which would help us during development. Here in our ADD, we have the Android Virtual Device Manager. Click on it and you get a dialog that says Android Virtual Device Manager. This is the console that helps you to manage different Android virtual devices. You can have any number of uh, AVDs. And you can see we have the Android Virtual Devices tab which is currently selected and uh, we don't have any AVDs right now. And there is also a dev device definition uh, tab which displays a number of uh, devices. Uh, you can see we have an XSS device by Google. It has a screen size of 4 inches and a resolution of 418 to 800 and a RAM of about 343 MB. There are a lot of devices uh, starting from a very small uh, device which is uh, 2.7 inches in screen size. Uh, I'm going to start with a decent device. Uh, this is a a 3.2 inch device it, it has a resolution of 320 to 480 you can choose whatever device you want the reason why I'm choosing this particular device is because uh, uh, emulators are faster when you work with lower screen resolutions which means this 320 to 480 uh, device would be a little bit faster than your 418 to 800 device so I'm going to stick with this uh, smaller screen resolution in order to create an AVD I have to go and click on the create AVD button here you get a name for the AVD. You can name it. Uh, you can give it any name, and uh, the device selected is also shown here. This is the same device that we selected from the device definitions screen, and the target specifies the Android version you want to use. We are going to use Android 4.2 because we have only Android 4.2. You can get other Android versions as well using the Android SDK Manager. Uh, I'll show you how to do that shortly. And we need a hardware keyboard and we also need to display uh, a skin with hardware controls, which means your emulator skin will have uh, buttons such as the home, back, menu, and the direction buttons, the up, down, left, and right buttons. And for the back camera, you can select either emulated or a webcam. In If you select a webcam, the webcam on your PC will be used to emulate the camera of your virtual device. We are going to stick with emulated and uh, memory options. We are going to stick with the same memory options. Internal memory is 200 MB and we are going to create an SD card with a size of 512 MB. You can either choose snapshot or use host GPU. Snapshot is just like a hibernate on your PC. When you start your emulator during the next session, it will continue from where it left off. And if you want a little more processing power, you can use your host GPU. I'm going to select with the use host GPU. Click on OK. A new Android virtual device is created. You can see it here. It has a name and the target platform and we have the AP level and uh, CPU type which is ARM usually. You can create any number of Android virtual devices with different screen sizes, different memory options, different Android versions etc. If you want to start this Android virtual device you can click on the start button and click launch. And the, the AVD takes a light, little while to load we can close the Android Virtual Device Manager. Meanwhile, I'll show you how to get other Android versions using the Android SDK Manager. Go to the Android SDK Manager. Click on this button. 
and you get the Android SDK manager. Here you can get different Android versions and it is also used to update your Android SDK tools and your platform tools. We don't have any updates available so it says installed. In case if we have an update it will show you that there is an update available. If you want to download an older Android version uh, expand the appropriate folder and select the SDK platform and the system image. These two are the minimum required components for any Android version. If you're dealing with uh, older Android version, I mean really old Android version such as Android 2.3, you can just download the Android SDK platform. Once you select all the required components, click on install four packages. The four uh, actually, actually represents the number of uh, packages you have selected select Android SDK license and click on accept license click on install and everything will start downloading that's how you use the Android SDK manager to download different versions of Android I'm going to close this because uh, we're not going to wait until all these uh, the download completes I'm just going to close but when you close this remember the download will stop and let's check our AVD it takes a little while to load Here it is, our Android AVD is ready. We'll be using this to test our Android apps. This emulator currently runs Android 4.2.2 on a virtual device with a resolution of 320 into 480. In this video, I showed you how to create a new Android virtual device and I also showed you how to download various Android platforms using your Android SDK manager. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you.